These are part of the modern sports infrastructure in the West Nile region, built by the government of Uganda in support with funding from the World Bank. It will now impact the youth in improving their sporting talents across board, given the community blend with the refugee population. But in the community, I think we, we need to invest more there, because that's where also the talents are. A number of them dropped out of school and they are unable to continue. That means we can't tap their, their skills. World Bank doesn't want to call it a stadium. Now in enhancing the use of maintenance of these key assets, government has decided that collaboration among ministries, departments and agencies of government is vital. I can confirm that they are the first to begin to put sports infrastructure development as part of their programs. So let's thank them because this has been a missing link. Now it's my plan, it's my wish, like the president has directed, our plan is to have a standard state-of-the-art sports facility in each and every sub-region. Speaking in Terego, Yambe and Madi Okoro districts, Sports Minister Peter Ogwang received these sports facilities from the local government for onward administration and maintenance by the National Council of Sports. Because, like we're saying, training pitch. The engineer was presenting training pitch. I could hear his, the discipline is mentioning is only the traditional few. But I can guarantee you, we can use that pitch to have very many sport competitions. And for those of you who have won, I mean, you have seen the Olympics. Some of the disciplines you see there, we can get a village champion here to go and be a world champion in one day. The Terego district authorities have also pledged to support the National Council of Sport in ensuring there is high standards of the sports infrastructure. With your blessing, we are when the, the work is completed, we shall have a play field project commission and then maybe at that time, if it is possible, you organize a, a match so that as we commission, there is a, a, a match. Actually, for next week, it will be more the vehicles can pass on the bridge. Other local governments where the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development through the U.S. MID program have built these facilities including Kamwenje and Chiriandongo. Mashamira Victor, UBC News.